I'm Uddhav Tiwari and I'm a public policy advisor. So why should you care about MVD? Traditionally, everyone has thought about data as a risk factor, which will be governed from the sense of making sure that individuals' privacy is necessarily respected. And that's broadly known as personal data, which is data that is associated with a particular individual. But non-personal data is any data that is not personal. An example that is very commonly used to talk about non-personal data is traffic insights. So all the insights that a provider like Uber collects about the traffic patterns in the city, how long it takes to go from point A to point B, what are the sort of traffic patterns in a, on some key arterial roads at certain key points in time in the day is all information that Uber as a platform can collect because of the vast number of users who utilize its services in so many areas around the world. All of that information is non-personal data because it is information that Uber has that is not necessarily associated, though it can be with an individual, but are aggregated insights and aggregated forms of data that can be used to give it a competitive advantage with, with other players. Similar examples can also be taken for e-commerce and many other things. So as you can see, non-personal data traditionally so far is something that has simply had no regulation around it because regulation such as the GDPR, which is the privacy law in Europe, and India's upcoming draft data protection bill traditionally only apply to personal data, which means that the moment you make a data set anonymous or don't associate personal data with it anymore, you can pretty much do whatever you want with it within the confines of reason. But with non-personal data regulation upcoming, this is all set to change. A lot of the risk and compliance that you traditionally associate with personal data is now going to start applying to non-personal data as well. And that's something that one should be very, very careful about. Because most companies have their processes set up in order to deal with personal data and making sure that personal data is treated in a way that complies with laws and regulations. Non-personal data, on the other hand, is something that is far more freely used and available both in the public domain as well as within companies. And this increase in risk and compliance is something that most of us are very, very poorly prepared for because of the fact that it's such a new field that governments are just starting to talk about. So many of the things that one would use non-personal data for also actually provide insights into how the company is operating as well as a competitive advantage against other players. And keeping that same example that we had in mind earlier about Uber, in this case, insights that Uber has about how to price certain rides and patterns are its competitive advantage against other players in that space. And it, they are all collected using non-personal data. As you'll see later on, many of the things that the government is talking about will reduce this competitive advantage and require large companies to actually share this with smaller players, which can have a very wide ranging impact on how players operate in any aspect of the technology ecosystem. So because of the increase in risk and compliance, because of the fact that it's so key for the insights that most companies use to operate, and because of how integral it is to a competitive advantage that the smallest startup to the largest company enjoys in an ecosystem, you should definitely care about non-personal data.